Are you still trying to find the perfect skirt for your body shape? Or you spent years trying to work out which style suits you, but still find it hard to buy a flattering skirt? I love skirt and I feel so much ladylike in a skirt. And I think women look so beautiful and so feminine in a skirt. With so many skirts out there, different cuts, different shape, and different design, the question is, how do you get to know which style look best on your shape? That is what this video is about. It's about how to find the perfect skirt for your body shape. Hi ladies, welcome back to another video and thank you for tuning in. I'm Benita and I'm visual brand and image consultant. This channel is all about body confidence, image building, styling tips, fashion and a sprinkle of beauty. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to join the community. You can also find me over on Instagram at Natnolan Consulting or you can check my website where I have lookbooks on how to dress according to different body shape. First, let's talk about some general guidelines you need to follow when buying skirts. The first guideline is to ensure that the hem line falls in a place which is flattering to your body. In fact, this is one of the most important things to consider when shopping for a skirt, getting the hem line right. Too short, too long, and too tight. This adjective should be treated with caution, especially women above 40. When buying skirts, take all this into consideration. And the second guideline is for women with a bottom heavy body. You want to avoid all skirts with ruffles, too many pockets, exposed zippers, too many pleats and skirt made of shiny or embellished fabrics. And also tight stretchy fabrics should be avoided, except you want to accentuate this part of the body. And the third guideline is for women with heavy legs. If you have heavy legs or you are very short, stay away from three quarter length skirts. The ones which end at the middle of the calf. What this does is that it cuts across the heavy legs and highlights the heaviness more. The fourth guideline is about buying skirts in print. If you're tall and big, small and petite, or tall and lean, or whatever your body shape is, always take the size of the print into consideration. I've seen a lot of blog posts saying petite women should wear smaller prints. That's okay, but what matters most is the proportion. When buying skirt with prints, make sure the prints you choose to wear is in proportion to your height and weight. One thing you need to understand is that proportion in print is very important. What do I mean by proportion in print? Say for example, if you do go for a border print, you can tone down the impact by putting something plain with it, like wearing a blazer over a printed dress, or a, wearing a printed skirt with a neutral top, or balance your outfit the other way around. So let me give you another example of proportion in print. Say for example, you want to wear a dress with an all-over print, then find one with a continuous print to help give the illusion of height. That being said, now let's talk about the perfect skirt for your body type. The first body shape that I want to talk about is the inverted triangle body shape. I'm going to insert an image right now of some women with the inverted triangle body shape, just to give you an idea of what this body shape looks like. Women with inverted triangle body shape are those whose shoulders are the broadest part of their bodies. Shoulders might be straight, squared, or strong looking. If the top part of your body is larger than the bottom, and you usually wear bigger size on top, you can safely assume that yours is an inverted triangle figure. And your goal with this body type is to create more balance between your upper and lower half. You do this by adding volume to your lower half to balance out your strong shoulders and making sure your bust and waist are defined. In order to achieve this, look for fuller skirt styles that flare from the hips or any skirt that has visual weight on the hips is the best for inverted triangle body shape. Also, you have a lot of options to choose from, from A-line skirts to asymmetrical skirts, bust pleated skirts and ruffle skirts. You can also go with knife pleated skirt, tulip skirt, layered and gypsy skirt. All the skirts will help to remove the focus from the shoulders and flatter the lower half, 
and as well making your hips look fuller. So always go for a flare out skirt. Also, if you want to draw attention to your lower body, choose skirts in bright colors, horizontal stripes, and the length of your skirt can be from very short, flare to long and flowing. The next body type is the triangle body shape. Some people call it pear shape. I'm going to insert an image right now of some women with a triangle body shape, just to give you an idea of what this body shape looks like. So if you're triangle shaped, your hips will be wider than your shoulders and bust. In fact, your hips are the widest part of your body. When shopping for skirt, look for lightly gathered skirt that skim the body without adding volume to your hips. Any skirt with a wider shape at the bottom is effective in balancing out the hips. One of the skirts that flatters this shape is the A-line skirt. This skirt will showcase your slim waistline and skim over your hips, which balances out your top and bottom half and also minimizes the width of your bottom half. In addition to that, the triangle shaped figure might also do well with a high waisted skirt because it will draw attention back to your waist, which is the tiniest part of your frame. If you are tall and you want to create a more balanced look with your upper body, you can dress up in a slightly flowy skirt like drape skirt, accordion skirt and mermaid skirt. But if you have a well-defined waist and you want to highlight it, go for a yoke waist skirt or pencil skirt. This will help to create a more balanced look to your body. And how about those ladies with wide hips? If you have a wide hips, you can try a trumpet skirt. This skirt wraps around the hips and flare outward at the hands. And the tight fit on top shows off your hips while the flare at the bottom balances your hips and lower body. For those looking for a shorter skirt option, try a tulip skirt. They have the traditional length of a pencil skirt with the emphasis on the waist and legs. But the full skirt will curve around your hips, a little more comfortable. So what length of skirt should you look for if you're pear-shaped? The right skirt length for the pear shape is knee length or between the knee and mid-calf. This helps to stretch the body visually. Let's move on to the next body shape and this is the round body type, also known as the upper body shape. I'm going to insert an image of women with this upper body shape just to give you an idea of what this body shape looks like. First, let's establish what an upper body shape looks like. Women with an upper body shape have a broad torso, broad shoulders and a huge bust. However, they also have narrow hips and a full midsection. And the beautiful thing about this body shape is that you have a slim, beautiful legs. So when dressing this body shape, your goal is to divert attention away from, them, or from your midsection. You want to emphasize your strongest point, which is your bust and your legs while at the same time keeping your overall figure well balanced. So what skirt suits this body type? The best skirt for an apple shaped is high-waisted flare skirt. The reason is that the high waist band will eat the smallest part of your torso and flare out over the stomach, masking the midsection. Also, pick a length that settles just above your knee, as this will draw attention to your legs. The idea is to choose a piece that will create the illusion of a smaller waist but will flow out instead of hugging your hips and butt. Another skirt that flatters the apple shape is the tulip skirt. This skirt is normally made with two pieces of fabrics overlapping each other, almost like the petals of tulip, to leave a small part of the legs showing off between the two layers. You also have a lot of options to choose from. You can also wear mini skirt, circle skirt, paneled and ball splitted skirt. And because the upper body shape does not have defined waist, it's best to go for dark color skirt like navy blue, black, dark brown, and charcoal. In addition to that, if you have some evidence of, of post baby belly lingering below the belly button, high waisted flossy skirt are the ticket for you. And the fourth body shape is the hourglass body shape. If you have a large bust, large hips, and a small waist, then you are an hourglass body shape. I'm going to insert an image of women who, are, who have this body type. If you cover it with a well-defined waist, show off your tiny waistline in a tailored pencil skirt to accentuate your curves by smoothing out 
your hips and tights rather than bulky them up with excess fabrics. Your look should be sleek and curvy and the hem line of the pencil skirt should eat slightly above the knee, preferably two inches above the knee. When it comes to skirts for this body type, you have a lot of options to choose from as long as your waist is defined in a skirt. You can wear all patterns like yoke waist skirt, mermaid skirt and gypsy skirt, boss pleated and panel skirt. Also, under skirt that flatter the hourglass body shape are airline skirt, wrap skirt, drape and tulip skirt, preferably a high waist tulip skirt. Ladies, if you are blessed with this perfect body frame, then go ahead and flaunt those curves. Wear bodycon skirt or skirt that are made in stretchable fabrics are perfect for those of you who have a body to flaunt. Another body type is the rectangle body shape. Women with the rectangle body shape is also known as straight or athletic. If you've ever been told that you have a strong frame or asked if you play a lot of sports, you most likely have an athletic body type. Let's insert an image of some women with the rectangle body shape. If you have a rectangle shape, your body goes straight up and down. You don't have a waist definition. Your waist is straight instead of curvy. And your goal is to define the waist to balance your body. And it's so important for you to use skirt to create the illusion of waist. In order to achieve that, you can wear knife pleated skirt, A-line skirt, wrap skirt, drape, and tulip skirt. If you're rectangle shaped, a well-chosen skirt skirt is one of the best options when it comes to styling an athletic body shape. Not only will it accentuate your waist superly, but you can also look forward showing off your perfectly toned legs. Also, any form of fitting skirt, such as pencil skirt, will accentuate the little curves you have, and the short M lines will show off your slim legs. So to add volume to your lower body, choose detailed skirts such as full circle skirts, bust pleats and panel skirt. Also you go for layered skirt, bubble skirt and trumpet skirt. And remember, prints are your best friend. Not only do they add interest to your shape, but they also create the illusion of curves. These are my tips on how to get a perfect skirt for your body shape. If you have any questions, kindly drop them in the comment section below. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Until next time, you take care of yourself. Bye-bye.